Okay, let's talk about uh, Sophia Mamadou versus Davido. Firstly, big up to Davido. One thing about us is that whenever we like someone, uh, we believe that person can never do no wrong. We can agree with you guys, but unfortunately, the reason why most the reason why me and most of you guys usually disagree is because of uh, of different ideas, the way we see stuff. I cannot never, ever, ever, ever blame one person over their misfortune. Never. So, firstly, let's talk about uh, Sophia Momodu, who recently countersued David Doe. And I just want to talk the reason why Sophia Momodu countersued David Doe. The reason she gave. The reason she gave why she can't sued Sophia Momodu. The reasons. So, some of the reasons are according to uh, the uh, Sophia Momodu, uh, uh, according to the news, they say Sophia Momodu filed a response to the originating motion by David Doe seeking custody of their daughter Imadi. In a 100 paragraph counter affidavit to the applicant originating motion, Sophia stated that, one, the daughter is a minor, a nine years old, and her mother, she has stayed with me all her life and have been responsible for her welfare, upkeep, and well-being. Okay, yes, Sophia was also responsible for their welfare, uh, upkeep, and well-being. But if you say so, responsibility is what I do not agree with Sophia. It's what I do, I do not agree with Sophia. David Doe was also there as well. David Doe was also there as well. Mm? It's what I do not agree with Sophia. The David Doe was also there as well. So the paragraph two, she said, she's pray, she prayed the court that custody of their daughter should not be granted to the applicant, that is David Doe, citing his controversial lifestyle, which, according to her, will expose our daughter to more negative trauma at her tender age. Well, let us be completely honest with ourselves. Ever since, ever since, Sophia Momodu and David Doe, Mm? Let's be honest, eh? David Doe has more controversy than any other Nigerian celebrity. So what she's saying in this uh, particular paragraph is entirely true. But Sophia Momodu also had it to David Doe controversy. She cannot claim innocent. But yet, let's be honest, ever since Sophia Momodu and uh, David Doe stopped hanging out, mm? we have heard less about Imadi. Let's be honest. We should, we should be honest. We have heard about it made, made, made less. We have, if you are honest with yourself, you will know. We don't really hear about made and our picture are not always online. Because David Doe has more followers. David Doe has more vibe. David Doe has more, it's more popular. And it's understand that there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. For those of you who feel like there's nothing wrong with that. But that doesn't mean... This particular paragraph, she's not right. She's right in this particular paragraph that our daughter will be exposed to more negative trauma if she's with David Doe. Except David Doe can guarantee that he will not be posting about Imadi or showing Imadi or having any controversies around Imadi. I think that's the only way they will hear me. But I'm just saying, I'm just analyzing it myself. I'm not saying that you should agree with me or disagree with me. So, number, uh, paragraph three, she said, Sophia stated that the applicant in his role as an artist always travel and, uh, and allow many or superverse, uh, uh, unsuperverse. She said that the applicant in his, in his role as an artist always travel and allow many unsavory men, adults, male adults, around him and his, and, and his house, who will not be a good influence on an impressionable young female child like our daughter. But Oga and Madame, is she lying on that paragraph? No, she's not lying. She might be wrong saying that 
majority of Davido male friends are not responsible. But that doesn't mean she is not right. Davido has a lot of friends, male friends, who are on numerous occasions, their his keys are exposed to them whenever he's around. There are video proof to back it up online. There are video proof to back it up online. She is not saying lies. Let's see. I'm not going to like place it blindly. Not possible. She is not saying lies there. She is right. She did talk truth. David do get a lot of friends around. Make good. Make uh, go expose. He go expose him married to them. And it's not right for a young child to have so many male friends around. It is not proper. It is not right. As a man, will you, as a woman, as a man that you are, will you like to train your daughter to have so many male friends around her? Will you? I wouldn't want one to allow that, honestly. I won't. I, I won't. But then again, everybody has their individual differences and you can choose not to or choose not to do it. But then again, let's go to the paragraph 4. She stated that the applicant is married to another woman. And they live together. The proper upbringing of our daughter by another woman cannot be guaranteed. Which woman go allow another woman to raise their daughter? Is she wrong? No, she's not wrong. Which woman we allow another woman raise their daughter? Show me the woman that will be alive and allow a man to carry their daughter to be raised by another woman. Show me one woman that you think we allow that. Show me one woman. Even if the woman is allowing it, it is by force. They are forcing her to allow it. No woman will be comfortable allowing another woman to raise their child. Be it male or daughter. Be it male or female. No woman will allow it. These can be personal feelings. Choma is a very responsible mother. We already know that. Very nice. According to historical, uh, what we know about Choma, according to... Uh, testimonies from their close friends. But even though she is the most responsible woman on earth, the woman that is not responsible will not allow her daughter to be trained by Choma. Yes. If that woman has the means. No woman. So, here, she's also right as well. Paragraph 5, she said, The fact that the applicant loses his son in his house is rather unfortunate and questionable circumstances show that their daughter cannot be placed in the custody of the applicant. She shouldn't have brought uh, David O's son, late son, to this uh, lawsuit. But then again, she's trying to win a case here. She's trying to win a case here. When you are trying to win a case, there is no hard feelings. She has she have to back up her claim that David O is not responsible enough to take care of that daughter. So whatever guns she has in her backyard, she has to release it without fear, without intimidation, without holding anything attached in her heart. That is the truth. It's the bitter truth. I'm not putting uh, feelings into this. It's the bitter truth. She's also right in that paragraph. If you check the circumstances of the issue, uh, whether I made live or no, whether I have a friend's live or no, whether I owe their house, whether I that one day also, who no day also. Now, the circumstances that led to that particular incident was negligent. She's right. She's right. Then, she also said, that the applicant David Doe, apart from his craving for sex slave, uh -huh, only comes around to spend time with our daughter when he wants to use our daughter for media stunt or promotion. <laughs> he called David Doe a sex slave. So the only time David Doe they come around them, now when he wants to knock, knock Sophia Mamadou. When you want to come next to your mom, don't ever come around them. Or when you want to use a, a, a image for promotion or media stunt. Well, I will not answer that. That is left for you to answer. You, you guys that are watching. That is left for you guys to answer. 
that Sophia said, except when they be do one knock him, night they come around, or when he want go use the daughter to do public yeah, public stunt, make the sure and say he be good father. So I'm not going to answer that paragraph. So you should check it out. Well, I think that's all. The one that I was able to, the one that they alighted. The, then the writer says she claimed that she informed David Doe that unless he undertake, he undertakes to change his inappropriate behavior and over, and uh, overture towards her, uh, any visitation and or any or access to our daughter should be done elsewhere, other than my resident and in the company of our daughter's nanny, whom she is familiar with and has grown quite fond of. Sophia stated that, contrary to the paragraph 6 of the applic uh, applicant, David Doe's, uh, David Doe affidavit, I have been the one paying the rent of the house while I live with our daughter. Sophia says she has been the one paying the rent of the house, why they leave, why she live with her daughter. Well, that paragraph is tricky because David Dose claimed she was he also was paying the rent. So this is why this is a this is a lesson. If you have a baby mama, make sure you are the one paying the rent directly as the man. Do not give money to the baby mama to pay. If you give cash to the baby mama to pay rent, the landlord don't recognize you. The landlord only recognize the baby mama. The baby mama can sue you that you are not paying rent. How are you going to defend it? So make sure you are the one paying rent directly to the landlord. It's important. Then again, Sophia said, he said David Doe can see their daughter, but on supervision. Sophia says she doesn't want David Doe to come to her resident again because every time David Doe comes to her resident, unfortunately, that knock he won't come knock. So she no not want knock again. That David Doe will take a mandate elsewhere where they can see on supervision of the nanny that a mandate is already fond of. Well, this is a very dirty matter and uh, I hope the best it's not who is guilty or not guilty. It's not who say the truth or not say the truth. Whoever owns the stronghold. And obviously, with what I've read, David O cannot be this case. With what I've read, o, David O cannot be this case. If justice is to be served with the applicant and everything and what David O life have been on social media and so many other things, David O cannot be this case. That's on my own. You as well, you are free, entitled to say whatever you